G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. A quick one today, we're gonna to be looking at the new version of the connector 2.1. What does it bring? What improvements do we get? Is it better than version 2.0? There are some fixes. I'm gonna pop those on screen now and I'll put them just up here. The fixes include improved error handling, support for ROIs in settings in the JOSN file. This is great because we're not gonna to have to enter in those region of interest each time. They're gonna be saved in there for you. Added audible tones for issues. If there's any issues, you're gonna get an audible tone through whatever speaker you're using. If you're using a projector, an audible tone will come out of the projector. Fixed issues allow zero for metrics and more. So a general cleanup as well. There's gonna be a lot of enhancements, a lot of features added to this. One of them is you don't actually need to minimize this connector anymore. You actually just put it behind GS Pro and leave it up. Why does this matter? This matters because Android now is gonna work with this connector. However, the recent update with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro doesn't give us a landscape mode in Android. They've taken it away for some reason. I hope they bring it back because as soon as they do, this connector will now work with Android. As always, the link to this connector will be in the description. So if you wanna find it, it will be in the description for you. So I have got it installed. I have GS Pro open at the moment. However, I'm connected to my Foresight GC2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it from say if you've got an R10 to your Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. Jumping into the settings and then in the game section, you're gonna hit this reset GS Pro Connect. But before you do that, you've actually got to bring up your connector and then go clear device settings and exit. So we'll hit that. And now if we hit reset GS Pro Connect, give it a few seconds, you will get a screen pop up that's gonna ask you, and I don't know if you can see that on screen. Okay, you should be able to see it on screen now. You're gonna get a connector version 1.0, for the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro and for the Garmin R10, you want the open API. So select open API. Right, now that is up. Let's connect the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro up to my iPad, screen mirror it to the computer, and then we'll get this connector started. Okay, so I am connected and aligned. I'm just gonna pull up my screen or AirPlay app, it's called, for the iPad. I'm using an iPad. If you use an iPhone, get version 1.0. It works perfectly. If you're using an iPad, get this version 2.1. If you're using Android, you're gonna need 2.1. However, we're gonna need to get landscape mode back in the actual Rapsodo app on Android. So definitely hammer that support button. Make sure you send, if you're using Android, make sure you send support a message and say, hey, the landscape view has gone from Android. We want it back. I've done that. Make sure you do that so we can get as much data to Rapsodo as possible and they bring that mode back. Right. Let's connect my iPad. So I am screen mirroring my iPad now. I'll just minimize this down and then I'll just put it to the correct size by dragging that into position there. Okay, so that looks like a decent size. Okay, from there, I now need to bring up the actual connector. So to do this, if you're using GS Pro, not in a windowed mode. So when you first launch GS Pro, you'll get the box come up, say what resolution do you want? And then do you want a windowed mode? Just select no for windowed mode. To get into windowed mode when you're in GS Pro, hit F11 and that will now make it a windowed mode so I can minimize that. And then from there, you can access your desktop. So I'm gonna to go to the MLM2 Pro connector and this is a connector here. This is the JSON file. And I've had a bit of an issue with the screen size and matching the screen size, but I'll show you how to get around that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna launch the GS Pro connector. It's gonna pop up. And when it pops up, it says, press enter after you've hit your first shot. So I'm gonna go back to GS Pro. I'm gonna hit F11 again, and that's gonna make it the full size. I'm now gonna select Alt on my keyboard and tap Tab. And now that's gonna give me access to all these windows. And whichever one has the blue highlighted border is the window you select. So once you've got that selected, let go of Alt and then this window will be at the forefront. So I'm gonna to go to the driving range. I will again hit Alt tab and bring that window to the forefront. Okay, now I just need to hit a shot just to get the uh, Rapsodo data in the Rapsodo app. So we'll just hit a chip shot. And now the data is going to my iPad. And we should see the data if I push Alt tab, we'll see the data in our window there as well on the AirPlay window. But I'm gonna click on this window now, the actual connector window, and I'm gonna push enter. 
Now, what's happening with me is it's saying the dimensions seem wrong in the JOSN file. So if I just type in 1528 1195 into that JSON file, so 1528 1195, so we'll close out of the app, open up the JSON file, and we'll go 1528. 11.95 into the target width and height. And we'll close that, we'll save it. I'll relaunch the connector. I have hit my shot, there is data in the AirPlay window. So I'll wait for it to pop up, I'll push enter. And now it's gonna let me go through and select my region of interest. So I'll do that now. So we got bull speed, just there. Launch direction, HLA. Okay, it's good to see that uh, Rowan's fixed that. So horizontal launch angle and finally club speed. Now, one of the new features is, you can see my shot's gone there in the background. One of the new features is we're gonna be able to save and put these region of interests into the JOSN file. So what you can do straight from this connector is highlight all of those and push Control C to copy them. We can open up the JOSN file. And it says, upper left quadrant windows, copy slash paste ROIs below after running for the first time. So we will go down and we'll go Control V. Now they are in the JOSN file. We're not gonna have to enter those every time. We'll close out of this window and we'll go save and we are good to go. So I'm gonna minimize this window. I'm gonna minimize the actual connector and I'm gonna leave this AirPlay window up just to show you that you don't have to minimize it now, which is exactly what Android needed. However, the Rapsodo application has now made it impossible for us to connect this thing because you're only gonna get three metrics and we need more than three metrics to be able to get this data. So I'll hit a shot now with a pitching wedge and we'll see it go off in the actual app and we see it go off into the GS Pro world. So the issue with the Android device is it was actually not sending data through when you minimized the Android Connect, which was called, I think it was Easy Connect. Yeah, it was called EasyCast. So the EasyCast application wasn't updating when it was minimized. Now we don't have to minimize it. We can just leave this screen and all I have to do now is select the GS Pro window and I'll be able to hit shots. And the good news is this is all just gonna go through without that application being minimized. The Rapsodo missed that shot. Okay, it got that one. And we can see it go off into the GS Pro world. This is fantastic, massive update for the connector. This connector just keeps getting better and better. If you haven't got this set up, definitely get this set up. GS Pro adds so much to the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. If you wanna purchase the MLM2 Pro, I'm now an affiliate. So check the link in the description. If you purchase it through that link in the description, this channel will get a kickback. That'll really help the channel out and I would really appreciate if you did purchase it through that link. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Got any comments or questions or need help getting this connected, let me know and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.